Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say good morning everyone, both of the East and West Coast. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today here on Thursday. If you guys are also looking forward to the weekend coming up, starting tomorrow on Friday. And for this video today, what I want to tell you guys about is exclusive Ashlyn Pierce opens up about her exit from the bold and the beautiful. So let's get right into this. The link will be in the description down below. This is from soapabadodgers.com, posted by uh posted on the website on the 6th of August 2015, which is today here on Thursday, and it says Alex's shocking death on BNB has still has fans talking, and Ashton Pierce opens up about her on-air demise and saying goodbye to her daytime home in the new issue of Soap Hour Digest on sale Friday. On sale Friday, she got the news from head writer and truck executive producer Bradley P. Bell, who called her with the word of amendment twist. Of course, my first thought was, "Oh no, this is the death of my character. I'm really sad about that." The actress was generally was greatly moved by a fan response to Ali's fate. I resonated with a lot of viewers, but the magnitude of people who were sad losing the character, losing this character, it touched me. She says, "That's when it, it hit me that wow, this is really over. Don't miss the rest of her po uh, poignant interview in the next issue." So, uh, in the next issue of Digest, you know, Ashley Pierce will have her interview. She'll open up about her excellent, bold, beautiful. Uh, to me, I kind of felt that, you know, I, I know I may have been able to before when I talked about Ali's death, you know, the big spoiler. Um, I think that the Bone Beautiful, looking back at it now, made a big mistake. I mean, because in my view, they didn't have to kill off Ali. They, they could have just, you know, had her, you know, in a coma and, you know, transported to, you know, to France or somewhere else where, um, you know, she could get help. She could get, you know, counting sessions when she wake up, when she wakes up, and she can come back to, you know, Los Angeles, you know, cured and, you know, pretty much healthy and not crazy. Um, you know, for me, Ash, uh, Ali pretty much got on my nerves every time she started to complain, argue, whine, moan, you name it. But there was a reason for that, and because she basically, basically could not get over the death of her mother. She could not get over the fact that Taylor was the one who killed, was the one who was responsible for that incident, but it was on accident. And, you know, um, Taylor and Darla, you know, Darla, who was Allie's mother, you know, Taylor and Darla were pretty much good friends. You know, they uh, they were good friends. They formed a friendship. And, you know, I'm sure that if Darla was alive today, you know, she would she would forgive Taylor. You know, she wouldn't hold it against her, even if, you know, Allie didn't like that. And in return, Darla would probably be disappointed in Allie from the way she's acting. I and mean, she would be very, you know, concerned for her daughter. She would want her daughter to get the help she needs. But I do uh, wish Allison Pearson nothing but the best moving forward. And hopefully she finds the best in her career moving forward. But tell me, Council, guys, you think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you in the middle of neutral about the exclusive of Ashley Pierce opening up about her B&B exit? And so, tell me in the social comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to always subscribe to my channel, guys. And until next time, it's then saying peace, take care. I will see you guys later this week coming up later on this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, or in a couple minutes. So stay tuned. So, until next time, take care, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace, then. Have a good day. Bye.